President Bush will leave behind a legacy that will certainly be remembered for decades to come. This morning, the flag at his home in Kennebunkport, Maine, is at half staff in honor of his memory. From childhood up until his death, he worked tirelessly to make his country and his community a better place. Channel 2's Bill Baeza begins our team coverage this morning with a look at President Bush's accomplishments. He had a political career spanning decades, but a dedication to service that lasted a lifetime. A legacy that began with his parents, who taught the president the value of service, selfless service. If he ever told his mother that he had done something well in school, she would say, don't brag, George, don't brag. And he, so it was instilled in him never to uh, talk about his own accomplishments, and he didn't. Before politics, President Bush was a successful businessman, leaving a legacy in the oil industry. George but the family Bush, business of politics called, and he States jumped Senate. in, changing Make the landscape of Harris County the and Texas politics in forever. It, it was very bold for him to become a Republican. If he was ever intending to go into politics, most people would have gone the way that the majority was at the time, which was very Democratic. And despite some defeats early on, his political career eventually peaked at the White House where he left his mark on the country and the world. I think that the one thing that will be said about him is that he was the last of uh, one type of president, and that is the moderate compromiser. You find some of that in Bill Clinton's administration, but it's only after, uh, only after his presidency reaches some crisis points in the second term. Another part of his legacy while in office, Desert Storm. He used an historic level of diplomacy, organizing a large coalition in the Gulf War after Iraq and Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait. He was a, uh, a, a very adept coalition builder, uh, but true multinationalism in getting allies together uh, to really uh, reinforce American foreign policy interests. I mean, Desert Storm was a, uh, a case in point. No While in office, he continued his dedication to public service, establishing the daily Point of Light places. Award for individuals country. making a difference. You know, in response to the president's call to action, the Points of Light Foundation was created in 1990 to encourage and empower the spirit of service. I think he wants his legacy to be that public service is a noble calling and that every American uh, should do some type of service. Despite his long list of successes, many will remember the president for something just as important, if not more important, his kind heart. He was uh, just just a, a joy to work for. He, he was full of hope. He was full of optimism. That uh, marvelous smile of his was worth uh, more than a thousand words. And one reason he accomplished so much is because he made people feel good. Inspiring many to honor his memory by carrying on a mission close to his heart.